what's up, y'all? Um, I'm doing this response to Veritas's uh, newest five questions video. Um, I like Veritas. I think he's really smart, and there's not a lot of um, really smart theists that post videos on YouTube that are actually interested in um, hearing responses. So um, I don't think these questions were. Um, quite as good as his other set, but I'm going to answer them, I said, because I like them, uh, waiting for them to come up here on my computer so I could have the audio stop being slow, computer, say any evidence <laughs> one shred of evidence if there was one shred of evidence that I couldn't explain a way that was compelling maybe but I haven't even seen that yet so um, physical logical it wouldn't matter a any kind of evidence but um, like I said you're your God Yahweh is a logical contradiction in my opinion so I, I just see no way that there could ever be any evidence for, for that kind of God would it be physical evidence like a, a burning bush or maybe a booming voice from the more sky stuff about or that would question. you still be skeptical at that point and require more evidence um, so what I'm trying to ask is what's the type of evidence that for you would warrant theistic belief and what degree like would I said Give me one shred of evidence. Uh, third, do you think the new atheist movement is ultimately a good thing or a bad thing for free thinkers and skeptics? Uh, I, I define the new atheist movement to be something like the following. Uh, the new trend of removing respect from religion in conversations, you know, the sort of attitude that one finds in a Richard Dawkins or a Christopher Hitchens, where anti-theism starts to pop its head up a bit, a bit more. Um, do you think that sort of thing is ultimately good or, or, or bad, and why? I mean, I've heard... Why do you say it's a good thing? Okay, um, that's a pretty loaded question. Let me say this uh, first off. I actually do think that um, religion and religious beliefs deserve ridicule. Um, to you, that's disrespectful, um, and I understand why, because those beliefs are, are deep, deeply held and, and you cherish them. Um, but to just simply be respectful of, of a belief that is completely nonsensical is never going to work. The only way to make somebody really look at that belief is to let them know how ridiculous it is. Um, and if you consider that disrespectful, so be it. But I do think that that's a good thing. I definitely don't think that religion should be allowed to, to stand on this plateau anymore. Um, where 
it's untouchable and you, you must be respectful of it because then you can never make an argument against it. And <coughs> any kind of argument against God is going to sound disrespectful to somebody that believes in God. This, uh, this new attitude the surface because religion doesn't deserve any respect. And yet I've heard other atheists Religion say, no, does not deserve any respect. It's nonsensical. People have the right to practice religion, so but you, you don't have to respect their uh, insane what, beliefs. What sorts of decisions are affected by your atheism? I really like this question. Um, I like my own question. Wow, that's, that's like the height of narcissism. Okay. Um, let me unpack what I mean here. Are, are there decisions that you make in your life, aside from the obvious denial of theism, that are a direct result of your views on the non-existence or lack of evidence for God? So, for example, political choices or moral choices or economic choices. Is there anything that atheism has impacted in such a way that you can look back and say, you know, I, I don't think I would hold this, this other view if I wasn't an atheist? Um, um, for practical reasons, I'm going to say no. But I would like to make this point, and that is there are many views that I hold dear to me that I find, you know, epistemically implausible to hold if I would be a theist. For instance, um, the I, I hold very strong views about equality and equality for basically everyone. And every single religious document pertaining to a God, a monotheistic God, contradicts that. It puts certain people above other people and it doesn't do it based on their character and I don't I don't like those things so I, I actually do think that being an atheist opens up a bunch of beliefs that would be closed to a theist <sighs> not the last so that's my fourth question uh, and lastly my fifth and final question what is more important to you as an atheist, um, I mean, I guess this could really apply to you as a person, not simply an atheist, but what's more important, acquiring as many true beliefs as possible, or not acquiring as many false beliefs as possible? Let me repeat that. Which one of these is more important, gaining true beliefs about the world, or not gaining false beliefs about the world? Those are, in fact, very different things. For example, my answer is that I'm more interested in gaining as many true beliefs as possible, because it makes life more interesting. Um, I feel that focusing too much on skepticism or the, the interest in not acquiring false beliefs leads to a sort of uh, bitterness and, and, and an unhealthy approach when it comes to assessing particular things in life. Uh, that doesn't mean you know skepticism isn't necessary or even you know that I'm not saying it's even a bad thing, but I, I just think that acquiring true beliefs is uh, just much more important. I mean maybe that's just because I'm, I'm a theist. I don't know. Um, anyway. Um, I think that they're one and the same. I think that you require a belief and then you assess its validity as either true or false. Um, I don't think we go about this business of I'm trying to acquire that true belief over there or I'm, I'm trying to avoid this false belief over there. It's not how it works. You encounter something and you assess its validity. Um, so I, I really I don't quite get that question. Um, I'm really I'm trying to make sense of it so I could answer it in a different way that doesn't seem to be dodging. But but the only thing that comes to mind is is you gain a belief <coughs> before you assess its validity. I'm certainly interested in having more true beliefs than false beliefs and as many true beliefs as possible. Um, I don't know if that answers your question or not. Um, anyways, to all my subscribers that don't watch Veritas, um, I definitely think that he is one of the better Christians on YouTube, so check him out, and peace.